Hi, this is Eric Martin from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Mariola in the Piatnik booth at Nuremberg 2014 looking at Venezia from designer Leo Colavini. And I was hoping you could give an overview of what's going on in the game. Yes, well, let's start. Um, this is the board and it shows us Venezia um, with some parts of the, of the town and some safe spots. It's like bridges you can cross. Okay. The streets. Everybody has three um, playing. Three pawns. Three pawns, right? And um, it depends how many people play the game. So you get either seven or nine cards. Okay. Well, in every round, you have to play one card, and you have to start with the smallest number. In my case, that would be a three. So I would play the three, and I'm the yellow part. Okay. And if I play the three, I'm uh, flooding this little card where you find the three. This means that the little purple person is dying. Oh, <laughs> yeah, so sad. That's so sad. But Good for you. Good for me. <laughs> and um, the purple person has a chance to get back on the game if it plays um, its gondola card. Okay. So, if the person does that, he can um, put his figure wherever he wants, for okay. example on the seven. And yeah, in every round I have to play a card, okay. which I did. Um, I have the possibility, but I don't have to um, buy a treasure, because every player gets some coins at the beginning, which is this, okay. nine each I think. Okay. So I can buy a treasure if I want to, I can move my, my little man here in one direction, either this way, this way, or this way, or that way, I can never walk on water. Okay. Um, yeah, except if I play my gondola card, which I can do if I want to save myself or if I want to walk over water. Okay. So, that is basically... What are we trying to do? Okay, we, we try that's to, the concept. To get as much treasure as we can. In the end of the game ends when um, I play all my cards. Then it's the end of the game, and this would mean that most of Venezia is flooded, but not everything because not um, not all cards are in in the use. Okay. So it would be like that maybe, and then it depends. Um, well, I have to make it more clear. Now you see you have a lot of colors, but. Pink, you only have one left. See this one. You have a lot of greens, a lot of browns, a lot of blacks, mm -hmm. but pink, you only have one. Which means if I have a pink treasure, it would be a lot more worth than a black one, for example, because okay. it's uh, rare. Okay. And this is how you um, know who's the winner in the end. So scoring points based on the treasures. So you know ahead of time what you're going to sink yeah. and who you're trying to sink. Yeah. And I guess as well, by sinking, you can keep people from getting to certain spaces. Yeah. Does it matter where you end up at the end of the game? No. Can you do it here? No, it just, um, well, it's... <sighs> you cannot move this way, for example. So if, you, if I flood, for example, this and this and this, the person can only walk this way. Okay. And cannot buy any pink treasure. So this way I can hinder them from buying what I think is good treasure. Okay, all right. Thanks very much for the overview. You're welcome. This is a, a very fancy board. I gotta it say, is. this is the final version of the board. It is. But the game itself is still under production. It's Do you know when it's. Those are not the real cards, for example. So Do you know when it will be released? In March this year. Okay. Thank you very much.